Welcome! We are going to talk about how to make a predator prey graph on Excel. First you'll need to open Excel and if it asks you what type of page you want you're going to choose a workbook. Go ahead and type in the data. There it is. If it's not already highlighted make sure that you highlight the data. Just click and drag the mouse across the three sets. Notice that I also included the titles year, wolves, and moose. That way this will show up on our graph. Next, click Charts, Scatter, and Smooth Marked Scatter. All right, here's our graph. Looks pretty good. You can move it if you want. Okay, so first thing is you'll notice that this red line, which is the moose population, has a lot of variation to it. The population goes up and down, and you can see that very clearly. But our wolf data looks very flat. It looks like the wolf population doesn't change at all. But if we go over to our wolf data, you'll notice that it can go as low as 14 wolves or as high as 40. So we want to make this show up on our graph. To do this, we're going to right click the blue line and click Format Data Series. Then I'm going to choose a secondary axis. What this does is it plots the data using this axis on the right. And you'll notice it has different numbers. So this is going to show those variations compared with the moose much more. Now for somebody looking at this graph, it only tells them that the red line is moose and the blue line is wolves. What we want to do is we want to give labels for and titles to our graph. To do this, we're going to go to Quick Layouts and choose the first one. This then gives us a title and two axis labels. Unfortunately, it does not give us an axis label for the wolf data. But we can go in here and change what these titles say by double clicking them, highlighting the title, and then typing in what we want it to say. Predation of moose by wolves. The same procedure can be used to change the two axis titles. After you finish your graph, make sure that you save it. You can click the floppy disk, name it, and save it to either the desktop Maybe you have a flash drive inserted. Maybe you have a folder that you want to use. And that's it.